Hello, my name is Shadalina, and welcome back for another episode of The Last Kingdom in Neuroforex. And, well, in previous episodes we were doing quite a bit of research stuff, and now we did do a bit of a time skip, and we finally got the military jump drives. It's only for the 5 kiloton ships, but for the time being, I think that will be good enough. So we now should be able to... Actually, are you still missing something? Oh, right, um, we need to... Get rid of that component and put it in the actual trump drive there. There we go. So now we can actually build that. But over here we should be getting the pressure of water reactor rather soon. But anyway, I believe we need to go over here and retool the shipyard. It may take a little while. CQ Mark 2. So it's going to take until February. But after that we're going to start retooling the survey vessels and we can start sending them out to where they need to be. Now we do have three systems that we need to survey. Also I... Since the civilians started ferrying in more infrastructure in here, I did send in 20 financial centers here, so they at least have something to do in here. Not completely unemployed. And to be fair, it does at least give them some taxes. So that's good. And I am now ferrying uh, some lo uh, low gravity infrastructure to the moon here. Which actually, I believe, is going to need a governor with high mining. And maybe some production. I think the population growth can be the third criteria there. Production and mining are going to be pretty good, so that's alright. Now, of course, the max population here is just 2 million. So, not massive. I think if we can get a little bit of population here, we can set up some... Initial mining, it's not going to have to be a lot. We can start mining some of that, and at the same time, we will then have a colony that will be providing some light or low gravity infrastructure that we can then, or the civilians can then be providing to other places. It's not going to be a lot, in all fairness, but I think in the long run, it should be alright. Now, we can't really make that into zero colony cost place, of course, but that's alright. But anyway, let's uh, keep on going. The civilians are going to be transporting a lot of things. We still have some mineral shortage every now and then for the Saurium, although I believe we have improved the situation somewhat. It's still about 800 tons uh, short of uh, the annual production that we need, but it's, for the most part it does fairly well. I mean, we are still producing a lot of mines and factories. And that's going to last us until... currently until 60. The year 6 there is. About one and a half years away. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got the reactor now, and we started getting the big engine. We designed a few different engine types. Hopefully, they will be good enough for the time being. Eventually, some more components are going to have to be designed. But that's all right. So we got that. We'll still get the commercial drum drive after which we can then start designing our uh, jump tenders. I mean, technically we can design a military jump tender already, or jump tender for the military ships already. But right now it's not really required. We don't have the ship to ship tractor beam either, so we can't really utilize that too much. I have started researching the mining production a little bit, but that's uh, still rather slow. On the other hand, we should be getting another research facility in about maybe seven months or so. So that's not too bad. And that's going to be completed in... Okay, it's still February, so rather far away. Well, let's keep going then. Orders completed. Colony... Okay, right, so we did transfer some colonists down here as well. Not a lot, to be fair. It's actually currently the max population. I believe we are going to be bringing in more infrastructure, though. Rather soon. I'm pretty sure that the cargo... Yeah, the cargo is still transporting more, so that shouldn't be a problem. Mineral shortage, of course, is a bit of... Oh, actually, the cargo now completed orders. See? Oh, yeah, okay, so it's now doubled the capacity there. I don't think I'll be transfer or transporting more colonists here, personally. The colony over here could have 2.5 million total population now. Of course, since they don't have any minerals or anything like that, it's just going to be financial centers and a place for the civilian shipping to actually do some trading in. Because they don't produce any of the resources yet. There's not a massive demand for anything either, because the population is so small. Over here, they will be producing a little bit of 
a light gravity infrastructure, but again, it's going to be a bit limited. Of course, if we were to get some orbital happiness, we could maybe make that a bit bigger, but it doesn't have massive resources to mine, so I'm not going to provide too many things in there. Right, so mineral shortage again. That happens like once a month. But the situation should be improving rather soon. And now that we've got that, we can start setting the uh, Seeker shipyard to auto refit from. Oh. Ah, I see. Okay, well, then I need to do something else. And that is, I'm going to start strapping some of the old uh, survey vessels. It shouldn't take too long. I'll scrap the first two, and then I'm going to start rebuilding the ones. I'm basically going to use the components that we can, which is mostly the... Oh yeah, the chunk drive is probably too expensive. Oh well, I mean, we can still use some of the components. It's not the end of the world. And I could actually even use this one to scrap more of them. Come to think of it. Um, not llamas, but... Oh no, we can't actually scrap here. You know what, we can scrap over here though. Utilize this for scrapping and then once they've done the first round, this can start building the first one and that will scrap the other two. Okay, that works. Right. Still having the mineral shortages, but that's alright. Research completed for the high density duranium armor. Excellent. Now to be fair... I wonder... To be fair, for this or this uh, ship, the armor isn't, or the, yeah, changing the armor wouldn't necessarily do too much, so we might be able to, huh, let's try that. So, we copy the class, uh, update the armor, and rename the class a little bit. Maybe 2B. Okay, so what I want to increase is the deployment time, poss possibly. As well as add in... It has a decent bit of maintenance supply points already, so that's not necessarily something that we need to worry about. Although, frankly, other engineering space wouldn't be terrible, but I think we need more fuel in there. Actually, if we get rid of these three, we can set up a large fuel storage there again. That gives the range of 56 billion, and could we actually put in... Get rid of some of these, we can probably set up a, another small maintenance storage bay. Or, I did say that I wanted to increase the deployment time, if we put that to 10, how much... Ooh, that would fit perfectly. Okay, 11 is too much, but 10 months, it does improve it a little bit, that's for sure. So, sure, uh, 300 days, yeah, that's about 10 months worth of deployment time there. Not too bad. Now, I'm not entirely sure, I mean, that is a tiny bit more expensive, but not significantly. It's mostly the same stuff anyway. A little bit more crew members. Actually, no, the crew is the same. But it, uh, crew quarters is a bit bigger because of deployment time, of course. Did we... we didn't increase the maintenance supply points, but that's probably alright. So, now that we are getting that... also, the Hornet, uh, since we haven't completed you, let's update your armor. So we can easily set up a... a little bit more in here. We did get the reactor already. So, I want to increase your... De actually, if I put extra layer of armor, that basically does it. I did increase the deployment time a tiny bit, although it's not going to be used all that much, but it allows us to train a little bit longer periods of time. So I think that's alright. Is the crew size is actually a little bit smaller than this one? Oh, interesting. It's not a massive difference. 
Oh, I could be the smaller reactor at least, and the smaller fire control, that's probably what does it. The range goes up a tiny bit, although the time that it takes to go that range is, of course, smaller. And the fire control should meet the requirements for it. So, that, again, this is not really a ship that will be taking part in a lot of battles, hopefully. But if it does, it can at least do a little bit, and the extra armor certainly helps the survivability of the ship. Now, to be fair, the extra armor might be a problem. Well, we're going to have to retool the shipyard anyway, but I think this is more or less what we can kind of expect from this. Once we get a bit more... I mean, hmm... It does have the passive sensors. It does have the active sensors. It has the fire control. So technically, yeah, this is a working ship design. Right, so let's go ahead and retool the shipyard for these. Because I'm pretty sure that we can't... Nope, we can only construct the hornet, or the basic horns here, so yeah. Uh, retool, and that's going to be done in uh, August. It's going to take a while, but that's alright. Right, so how long until these are going to be done in May? Okay, that's actually not that bad situation. Oh, and do we still have the research lab? Oh yeah, we do have research labs. I'm going to add more for this one. To speed that one up, and maybe the mining production wouldn't be bad, because we kind of do need that. And then there's also a lot of other things, like the beam fire control range would be good, and getting the some more weaponry wouldn't be bad either, although not necessarily the biggest of priorities right now. I think more important for us is to actually exit the system, so we can get a bit new horizon, so to speak. We've got another research lab, so I'm going to put that under the... Actually, the traction beam is still a good idea. So now it's getting 1,600 points per year. So it's about two years now until we get the traction beam. Then we can start building the tux as well as once we get the jump drive for commercial stuff, we can start setting up the jump tender designs. And speaking of which, we've got another engine type. And start out the research on the... Okay, so that's good. Did we actually... No, it's not quite yet. There we go. Ship's trapped. So what we are going to do here is we're going to take this. Uh, construct. Seeker Mark 2. Can we... Do we have the... Oh, no, we don't. So it deleted the fleet. Okay, well, I'm just going to put them on the shipyard fleet there. We'll have to read... Oh, right, the... I never, never actually divided the Corvette either, but that's all right. We'll have to... If we can retool those, then we'll retool. If we can't, then we'll just have to scrap them. I mean, at least it gave us some experience for our officers, if nothing else. Right, so use components. Seeker Mark II actually can... Oh, we can build the Mark B. Good. So that is a little bit better. So we'll create that. Um, not sure how long it's going to take. And you can scrap the remaining Seekers. There we go. And then the llamas over here, I suppose what I could do... I'm going to contract another mule. I'm going to assign it directly to the cargo. A1. And then I'll build another one for the commerce uh, guild right now. That should be a good idea. Right, so how's the population doing over here? It has grown. Of course, since there's not going to be more infrastructure right now, I might want to bring in another... I don't know, 120 maybe. We'll see how much we can bring in. But we do need to bring in a bit more infrastructure here. Of course, the total population capacity isn't much, so... If we had to say 500 low gravity infrastructure, that would be already more than enough. How's the... Okay, the political stability over here is... Fairly good. We got pretty good protection value, of course. So that's not too bad. Right, so let's have a look at the shipyard task real quick here in Veralis. Uh The Seeker is going to be done in January. So it is, it is at least a little bit faster than what it would be without the components. If we have a look at the stockpiles, we have sensors, sensors, some of the old engines, which we probably don't need anymore. So I'm going to scrap those. 
storage bays and all that we will keep. But yeah, the old engines are just old. Not really required. Yeah, the mineral shortage is still a thing, of course. About once a month. Although, how much are we doing in terms of the construction? We are already have over 5,000 build points per year. And in terms of mining, how much are we short in the Sorium? Um, still about 700 tons on a yearly basis. So, I mean, the gap is not as wide as it used to be, but there's still a lot of work to do. Let's put it that way. Currently losing a lot of bit money because we are doing a lot of things in the shipyard. Once that's done, it should improve for a while again. Ah, oh, ships have been scrapped. Good. And the mineral shortage shipyard has been modified for the corvettes. Let's have a look. Can we now refit from Horus? From oh yes, we can. Good. That is kind of what we wanted. Because they don't have the jump drives or anything like that, so the upgrades were not that expensive. Of course, the build cost is still quite substantial, but this way we can keep the crew training fairly high. So, actually, can we auto refit these? Yeah, we can. Right, that should take a while, but should be too bad. Although we're losing a lot of money right now, I'm sure that civilian trading. Actually, let's have a look. How much are we getting from the shipping? Exports, colony trade goods. Yeah, we're making 90 per month, more or less. So it's quite a substantial portion of our income. It's about 10%. Alright then, and as the population over here is still increasing, we could easily bring in more financial centers down here. We can basically move all of our financial centers down here for a while. And do they actually have any... Okay, they got some requirements for... Machinery and textiles, they do produce some of them, as well as constructed materials, but yeah, they have no surpluses yet, so there's not as much trade as it could be. But the situation is improving, that's for sure. Now we're getting the cargo ship. Once we've got that one, I'll start transporting some of the financial centers and then more light gravity infrastructure, or low gravity infrastructure rather, to the other planets or other colony. So we've got the Shorim, Shorim shortage, of course. About once a month. Okay, there we go. We got research on the commercial jump drive. Now, I do not want to abandon all of the research in here, so I do actually. Let's get that one. Not going to go for full five labs anymore, but three is probably going to be fine for the time being. After you've done that, I think you might want to get the reactor upgrade again. Then maybe some other stuff. We'll have to think about that a little bit. Even the capacity recharge rate wouldn't be bad, quite frankly. Now we do have another two that we could be using. Do we have crown? No. Defensive system researcher did get some nice bonuses or increases in there, so that's good. Uh, but let's have a look. So the ship, ship tractor beam, we could probably add in one more lap of that. And then we have one extra lap that we could maybe do something from the sensors. Because we do have pretty good sensor researcher right now. Now let's have a look. I suppose the active ground sensor strength wouldn't be bad. Fire control raging wouldn't be bad. Is there the Oh being fire control range? Yeah, that is probably something that we want. So we'll create that project. And after that we'll probably assign you Hmm. Tricking bonus versus missiles it wouldn't be bad, but I think we may want to get the active ground sensor stuff and then maybe EM sensor sensitivity, thermal sensitivity. Then we're going to redesign all our sensors. That should be alright, but it's going to take a long while to do the research, but at least we can keep getting some more bonuses for the researcher and all that. And spreading the research a little bit. We've still got three more facilities under construction. That shouldn't take too long. How many light gravity infrastructure do we have? 260. We've got 900 regular ones. Now we, oh, actually, we should be getting the ship, uh, or the first of the seekers done. Yeah, that's going to be done in 20 days. There we go. So now what we need to do is, we'll assign it under the Royal Survey still. We'll create the fleet. So survey one. 
and just assign you there. What you're going to do is you're going to have the standing orders of uh, bodies or locations. Fuel less than 50, refuel a colony, deployment time exceeded, um, overhaul a colony. We may need to do some manual control there every now and then, but that should be alright. Right, and then of course we are actually a bit low on money right now. Okay, so you construct seeker to the shipyard fleet. Use components. Right, so we can create that task. It's going to take a while for us to rebuild the survey fleet, but that's alright. Sure that we can manage. Right, and then the survey, of course, needs to have... Hold on. Where's the... Oh, right, it might not list it there. Right, so I didn't give you the orders. Well, I just want to, to go through the first location there. I'm going to slow down to one day increments here. Okay, new system discovered. Nagel ring. Let's have a look. So, it's only comets here by the looks of it. That's a bit sad. Just making sure that that is indeed the case. All comets. Yeah, there's nine comets. We don't know if any of them have minerals, but hopefully some of them do. But it does, doesn't look like a very exciting system, for sure. Ah, oh, and we got the mules constructed, so the cargo one. Why don't you... actually... First, I'm gonna load the low gravity, take it to the colony. Then we can go and load some more financial centers. And unload them over there. Then you can probably refuel. Shouldn't take too long though. Okay, we're still having the mineral shortage, which is uh, to be expected. Okay, did we... No, I don't think we found anything over there. We'll probably refresh, but no, we haven't found anything in terms of resources here yet. We've only surveyed one comet so far, and some of the jump points. Right, but let's keep on going. Orders completed, cargo one. Okay, so let's have a look. How much capacity do we have here now? 650,000. Okay, not great, not terrible. And over here, the population cap is growing quite nicely thanks to the civilians. How much do we actually have extra in here? Surplus... Okay, 1200. Now oh, that'll do it. That will keep the civilian shipping quite busy for a while. Oh, right, uh, we are still increasing our fuel reserves. Actually, 46 million liters now, so that's not too bad. Although, yeah, we still have another 630 tons shortage in here, and our racial wealth is going down rather quickly. About 30 per month current speed, but that might not be completely accurate. Oh well. Oh, we did actually find some resources here. Once uh, we have another pause, I'll have a look. Oh, there we go, mineral shortage. So if we have a look at here, two of the comets have resources. Quite a bit of iridium. Okay, but that's... Not necessarily the thing that we need most right now. Oh well. Oh, and we found some minerals over there. That seems to have duranium. Oh, it's actually quite a bit of duranium. Three hundred. Oh, okay. That is certainly something that I want to reserve for myself. So I'm going to create a colony there. Max population, 2 million, so not a lot. We'll probably just want to get some orbital miners here, quite frankly. That means that it's going to be a jump for the... Mining Guild. Which, of course, is going to take a while, because we don't have the orbital mining modules or anything like that yet. But we may want to start working towards that. Still having the... Oh, we found another jump point. 
Also, how far away are we from getting the second ship? It's going to be done in October, so actually still pretty far away. But anyway, we seem to be out of time for this episode, so I'll probably keep going a little bit forward in time between the episodes. Do a bit more survey, try to get a bit more chips and have a look at how the uh, money situation is going to evolve and all that sort of stuff. And actually, let's have a quick look off on the researchers. Is there anything that might be interesting? So we did start getting some of the engine techs like the min engine power so we can utilize that for our commercial vessels so they'll have a much higher or much longer range and that's going to be handy in the long run because we are also going to start working towards the next engine tech which is nuclear pulse engines and then there's the sensor stuff and the mining and the ship to ship tractor beam is actually less than a year away now that's good so we're going to design the tuck design and then we can start building one immediately and then we can start transporting once we get the design done for the uh, chump tender stations. We can then siphon some of the production capacity for the research facilities for that. But anyway, if you enjoyed this, please do like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll tell you next time. Bye bye.